the doctor. Just a resumed in a bad mood. Once she told me she has a brother that left home very young. And once more he ended the story at that point, like if the rest was obvious. I'm not risking a theory because I began to say You think her brother is Rita's father. Relanded risks a conclusion. Yes, I do. He didn't say a thing more. And what does your grandfather's trunk have to do with all this? I asked. Nothing. It doesn't have anything to do. It just reminded me her brother had left. That's what didn't clarify. I see. And the story of the hotel? I insisted. Oh, nothing. Just an experiment. He dropped, not attaching importance. An experiment. Raylan repeated with some kind of sarcasm. Sure. He put an end, not giving any explanation more. Insisting didn't seem to make him willing to give more details about what he called an experiment. So I went down to his place with the intention of leaving. I still didn't know to where, but finding out my father could be the unruly brother of Sam Thessel's former girlfriend didn't help me at all either. If you want, I can introduce him to you. There's a jolt behind me. I kept on up to his place. I was looking forward to meet my elect father, but I had shown myself anxious too many times, and too many times I never got to it. I'm serious, I know where he lives. There's a hurry up. Really? And how is that if 15 minutes ago you didn't remember that guy had told you about him? Lang also heard it up. Tessa didn't even took a look at him. Sure, he's at home. Do you want to go? He insisted. I must admit, I enjoyed the moment. Seeing a cold and imperturbed Tessa almost begging after me was to enjoy it. But I also have to admit that I took long to answer because I didn't know what to say. I didn't know if losing the little pride I had left and tell him I would, or if keeping it and tell him I won't. Look, why don't you stop wasting our time? What the hell do you want from us? If you don't tell us the truth, we leave. Rila set the limits. Cesar ignored him and sat down next to me. It's not far, he insisted. Fine. I gave in. Let's go. He didn't huddle. He took the jacket and left downstairs, making sure we followed him. His workshop is just two steps far. We lived there then. He explained, looking back, as if he was pulling us. Raylan and I looked at each other. There was a catch. I stopped dead. I needed a few seconds to take a deep breath. Swallow the pride, arms trained, the key to smash his face into the street lamp. She knows Ramiro yet. She doesn't need the introductions. We'd better go on our way. Relan spoke in my behalf. But he can tell us where his son is. Tessa insisted like a little kid. The way you spoke, it seemed they didn't keep in touch. I fell again like a fool. Tessa noticed it and resumed his steps, not answering. If I were paying attention, I could see clearly I was right. But even for the last eyebrow, got to keep my feet on the ground only to follow Tessa's steps. He didn't lie about the distance, at least. Ramiro's house was quite similar to Tessa's. A high ceiling garage on the ground floor, an aluminium door with a small squash glass, a buzzer on one side. Tessa didn't doubt. When we reached the door, he was just going upstairs. On the stairs, we could hear a peaceful music, 
a clinking on the door and louder music. Hi, Ramiro. Pleasant greeted. Hi, kid. I felt a stirring pain in my heart when I heard my grandpa's voice not that tired, not that sad. What's up? No, nothing. Don't worry, Ramiro. I was at home with some friends and she told me she liked the puzzles and I remembered you make these things and we thought about coming. That's explained, not bother at all, like if he had it prepared. Well, my grandfather said, moving aside to let, as that's what he hadn't talked to for long, so his toys to complete for dinner. Come in, come in. Inside, sat on an arm chair, was knitting the one that should be my grandmother. She was looking at us over her glasses with a funny smile. This is a mess. I started with a toy I imagined at night. Ramiro apologized. Don't believe him. It's always like this. At least I get to keep him away from upstairs. I don't let him take anything out of here. She got up while she was speaking. I've been searching for my glasses for hours. I left them on this table yesterday in the evening and do you see them? She's wearing them. Raylan sat in a hurry on my ear, half laughing, half not wanting to say she was stupid. Not this one, kid. She took off her glasses to see them. These are the old ones. Thank goodness, I always keep everything. But these don't filter the ultraviolet rays and I like to throw next to the window. Do you want to have anything to drink? Sit down, please. Sit down everywhere you want.